Hi, I'm Tiffany, designer and creator of Tiffy Sleeves. You can find us on the web at www.thetiffy.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Tiffy Forever scarf, which is, which is a variation of the Infinity scarf, but much bigger so that you can do so much more with it. And I'm going to turn it into a sarong. This is truly the all-season scarf must-have because it has so many variations. It's the sweater, it's the shrug, it's the cape but it's the sarong. So now you can take it and you can wear it over all of your favorite bathing suits or just go for that tropical look wherever you might be. From here I'm going to take it down from my shoulder so that it's in a circle around me. I'm inside the tippy scarf and I'm going to take the seam and make sure that it's, into the, it's on the inside because you don't, just like your clothing, you don't want it to show. So I'm here. Now, I'm going to start at the top and show you how to do the sarong with the Tippy Forever without anything but itself. You're going to pull it out to your arm length, and I'm hoping that you can see all of me in this. You're going to take it, and you're going to put your hand right here, right to your body, and hold the fabric. You're simply going to fold over all of it, and not, you can tuck it, you can tuck it if you want to, but this is really the most secure way to do it at this point without anything. And I have to take it and now you're going to fold it over at the top. And there you have, there you have the, the first style sarong with no help at all. Now at this point you can take a jeweled accessory and for a little more security, take the alligator clip on the back and actually stick it on there and that will hold a little bit more for you. You can do this too with just a pair of leggings depending on, on how daring you are. A pair of leggings and heels and boots if you want to as well. Now one of the ways I like to wear it is I like to take what's called a ribbon buckle. And that's just a simple, it's a simple buckle that has the bar in the center. There's all different types. I sell uh, several different types in my boutique made of leather, made of wood, um, but I do like the, the blingy one. Now again, I'm going to start out here at the top and I'm just going to pull it together with my hand like this until it's tight at the top of me. Now, it takes a little bit of trial and error with this way as well. Grab it with your arm and start to pull the fabric through until you have it at the tight uh, at the preferred tightness that you want here to keep secure. Now once it's there, you're then going to pull your fabric through the bottom portion of the uh, ribbon buckle. Again, remember your fabric ha the fabric has spandex in it, so it's going to stretch a little bit too when you're doing this. Now, what I like about the ribbon buckles is it's actually going to make the fabric lay nice and flat right here rather than tying a knot and having this bulky feel at the top. And again, you have a quick cover-up over your entire bathing suit so you can run to the bathroom, run to the tiki bar and grab yourself another drink, or just walk around uh, the cruise ship like this. Now you can do this same variation of what I did at the top on with, with or without a, an accessory down at the waist as well. And again, you're just going to do it with you're going to do it to the preferred uh, you know, tightness that you want it to to feel secure enough in how you're wearing it. And this makes a great skirt as well over a pair of leggings with boots and the top. It's just up to you, your personal style, your personal preference, what it is that you like to wear and how you feel most comfortable. Once you're here, you can always take a tippy beaded scarf and put the belt on right over the top to give it a little bit of a, of a blingier look too. Okay, so from here, you can also, just like the beaded scarf, your forever scarf is also a belt. Now, again, this takes a little work because you've got a little more fabric to work with, um, you know, other than the beaded scarf. But you're going to crisscross at the waist and you're going to climb into it just like you do with the beaded scarf. And you're going to pull it down to your waist or the preferred area that you're looking to wear a belt. You know, some shirts have a ruching effect of their own like the one I'm wearing, but some don't and you might actually want that. So you can do this. You can cover up. It just depends on what it is that you're looking or the need or variation 
uh, that you want to give the top or pants that you're wearing or skirt um, or you know you know maybe things have changed and the skirt needs to be worn a little bit lower and you need a little, more, little bit more cover up. Now you can also from there take the beaded scarf and layer it right over the top. Again you can find us on the web at www.thetiffy.com.